let's take a look at how to copy layers let's say I have this text layer for now text click check text is way too big you can go to text option break it down bring it down down okay let's have the text if i want to copy this i can just click and drag to this plus option and it will give me a copy now i have two text layers with me now one more option you have is uh, can use Control J. I'll delete the layer for now. Control J will give me a copy as well. Now I can work on using different styles on this as well. Let's go to a layer style. From window, you can access the layer style. Here I have option styles. First one is this. Gives a shadow, natural, and a few more. Gives me a little pattern inside the text. For Fabric can use any of these, and you can create your own as well. If you see in this layer, you have this effects icon, and you have this effects applied on this. There are like five effects going on right now. You can switch off the effects by clicking on this eye icon, I can switch off the visibility of the effects. You can see how each effect is adding on and making the whole thing. If I want to delete the effect, then I can click on this effects and drag it down and delete. I can access the layer styles by clicking on this blank area. Make sure you don't click here. We'll go into text editing mode. Don't click on here. It will try to rename the layer here in the blank area click double click these are the layer style options we have i can also access this from here as well go to blending options these are the layer styles i have starting from this drop shadow from the below if i click on this i don't see the property i have to click on the name now it is highlighted and I see the properties here as well. Opacity will bring down the intensity of the shadow. Size is the amount of blur in the shadow. Spread will make it thicker or thinner. Distance is, it will give me a little space between the shadow and the object. You can use the shadow on an image or shape as well. I can go to the shadow directly and move it around. Angle will change the angle here. Full opacity will give me a dark color. If I move it down, it will give me a little lighter color. Contour and style of the shadow. There are different styles given here. For now, I'll keep it simple. If I'm using the style, I'll check this anti alias for the quality purpose. Noise will give you a little grainy texture to the shadow. Check off this option and go to the over outer glow option. Click here. Let's choose the color red. 
increase the opacity in case you don't see anything here you need to go to blend mode screen and changes to normal now you see the shadow or outer glow pretty much same as the shadow you can use these sliders spread and size softer and precise a little bit different as you can see here are the different styles as well pretty much same as the drop shadow range will increase or decrease this I have a noise option to give a noise as well over pattern overlay I have few preset patterns in my library you can use this presets opacity down or up scale it down would make the pattern smaller or bigger I can click and drag and move around the pattern gradient overlay will give me a two shades of it I can go to this gradient choose something else here D3 you should keep it on for quality purposes there are five different types of uh, gradients we'll explore that later now wherever you like you can keep it right now i can also click and drag and move it the gradient up or down color overlay i can choose any color to overlap the color blue capacity for the color is now changed Saturn will give me effect like satin cloth change the color if I want like so you'll get the desired effect next I have inner glow it'll give me a little glow on the inside of the text let's take a darker color red can zoom in so you can see the color here opacity size choke will give me a little stronger effect size will give me a blur on the edges if I want this in the center, it will come to the center as well. Technique softer or precise will give me hard or soft one. And rest is same. You can change the style of the inner glow. Next is inner shadow. Just like a drop shadow, this shadow will appear on the inside. It will give me a look like it has been cut out. In case this happens, you go outside, you can double click and get the properties again. Let's tweak the opacity, distance, choke, and size. Pretty much as same as before. You can click and drag around the effect if you like. Stroke is uh, just an outline. Can give me a right now it is on the inside our uh, position is outside it will go outside if i want to change the color i can change the color I have one more option that says inside it will be partially inside and partially outside center is partially inside partially outside 
you can have a preview here bevel emboss will give me a 3d like look so if i give it depth it makes it look like a button there are three different types of chisel chisel soft will give me a soft edges and depth up or down i can choose as per my desired result i can increase or decrease the size so that's it that's those are our layer styles